I think this is what is called Mapro showers. So I'm currently, having got set up and ready to go, I'm now hiding under a tree until the heavy rain squall goes past. Thankfully there's no thunder in the area. I've got an app on my phone that will tell me if there is. I'm back down at road end. I've got a new camera that I want to try out and I have a feeling that the tactics that were working at New Zealand Bay will also work here. Um, I've seen fish here already and there were fish heading and tailing before this rain squall appeared. So I think they will be here. I'm fishing the same tactics that I fished at um, New Zealand Point. I'm fishing black dullbacks because I've got to believe that the fish here are also, there's a lot of trees around here, so the fish are probably feeding on the same black nymphs that they were feeding on on the other side of the reservoir. The wind today is a northeasterly, which should make fishing this spot quite easy. Now the rain is just dropping, just got my first cast in the water. I'm hoping that when that rain clears, the fly hatches will appear again and so will the fish. Oh, there was one right in front of me there. Literally right in front of me. Well, another one to my left, so there are fish in this area. We just have to hope that they are feeding on the nymphs that we are hoping that they are. They are here at the usual road end point. Fish everywhere. Seriously, I've got a fish rising all around me. But move towards the road end. I'm also hoping that with a bit of wind behind me, I might be able to fish more out into the edge of the bay. Now this is definitely a wading spot. And it's one way I have to make sure that I take my flies with me. There's a buzzer on the top, a dial back on the point, and a black nymph on the middle dropper. Now that fish is right next to where those flies are. <coughs> that was a take. We've got something on that they like. That's right over the spot the fish were. Now I'm going to fish them static. Pretty much static. Because that was a take. Look, a little waterfall. <laughs> oh. 
That's me in my evening. I don't care whether I catch on fish now. And I promise I'm not lying, that was fabulous. Right, so now we've got a floating point fly on. And we've been blessed by the water shrew god. <laughs> I can't believe that. I genuinely can't believe that. All right, now we're out in the water. Now we're fishing the static buzzer now. We're 100% static buzzer. I wonder if uh, water vole would work as a bait. Now those fish are moving right beside me, but they're completely ignoring my flies. That's it. Oh, wow. I just speeded up there. And it took. I just wonder if maybe I need to be fishing the flies a bit faster. Wow. I just speeded that up just a, a little shade. Fish had never looked at anything. It's just, it's just stocky, but wow. It's the buzzer. It's on the buzzer. Hiya. All I did was speed that buzzer up a little bit. I'm just, is it the speed of the retrieve that's critical here? Oh, it's a brown trout. Yeah, it's a brown trout, my first of the season. Wow. It's a brown trout. Oh, it's a really nice one. Not, not huge, but... There we go. There's a brown trout. We'll get it to, to swim away.